Hey what's up everyone, CTN Technology News here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can download and play Nintendo DS games on your computer. So the first step is to go to the site emulatorzone.com and download the No GBA emulator. This originally began as just a Game Boy Advance emulator and that's why it's called what it is, but it has evolved to play Nintendo DS games over time. So the file takes just a couple seconds to download, and once it is on your computer, go ahead and extract all the files to a separate folder. Here's the actual emulator running, but obviously right now I don't have any games for it, so let's go ahead and get one. The site I would recommend, as always, is emuparadise.me. They have a variety of different Nintendo DS games, but for this video I'm just going to go ahead and download Sonic Colors. That immediately takes me to an information page about Sonic Colors, and then if I go down to the download links, I could just click on that and immediately start the file downloading. It's 45 megabytes, which is about right for a Nintendo DS file, and so it might just take a couple seconds, but it really doesn't take too long. Here's the actual Sonic Colors folder in my downloads. Right now it is a zipped folder, and just a quick word, you do need to extract the files in this folder for them to run. Originally I tried just accessing the files in the zipped folder and that didn't work, so go ahead and just extract the files to a separate folder and you should be golden. So now we can go back into the emulator and go into File, go ahead and go to Cartridge Menu File Name, and just find it wherever your extracted files are for the game that you downloaded on your computer, and if you go ahead and click on that, it should immediately start running in the NoGBA emulator. Emulator. So that's basically all there is to it. It's really not that hard to get this up and working on your computer. And again, there are tons of games for you to download, so Sonic Colors is definitely not your only option. But in my case, it's really a straightforward process, and I think it should be for you as well. You don't really need that powerful specs to run this emulator because it is for a relatively old console, and the games definitely aren't the best quality. But with that said, give me your opinions on this emulator and the ability to play Nintendo DS games on your computer in the comment section down below. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll be sure to answer them. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and with that said, I will see you next time.